Hey there, it's Carl Kwan. So in this video, I wanted to show you the differences between the EIM-003 and the EIM-001. Now specifically in a place where it's gonna be kind of echoey and loud. It's not loud in here right now, but it will be in a second. The reason why I'm doing this is because somebody asked me what to buy, either an EIM-003 or an EIM-001 to conduct interviews in a cafe or a restaurant. So this is my attempt at replicating such a situation so that you can get a sense of what will work best for you. Right now you're listening to the EIM-003, where it would be if it was a lapel mic. If I were to place this in the middle of the table, maybe about a foot and a half or two feet away from me, this is what it's gonna sound like. Okay, so now it's on the table. It is about maybe two feet away from me. I haven't changed any of the settings on it. The adjustment dial on the ESL001 is still at nine, at the highest setting possible. Now, let me bring some sounds here so you can check out what it sounds like with some background noise. One second. So the person asked me if she was gonna film in a coffee shop or a restaurant, a cafe or a restaurant, what would it sound like? So again, this is the EIM-003. It's really close to the computer. It's actually maybe about six inches away from the computer. And maybe you're gonna hear nothing from me. So this is what it sounds like if it was a lavalier. So now that it's a lavalier mic, even though there's background noise, you should hear a significant difference in the audio quality. So you'll probably hear my voice a lot better now. Okay, now check this out. I want to plug in the EIM-001. Now the EIM-001 though, it's a high gain microphone, so I'll probably have to adjust the volume a little bit. All right, so check this out. Should be super loud right now. Okay, I've turned the dial down to seven. So now this is like a lavalier style. So now I told her that she could put this between herself and the other person. So if it was here, okay, so again, it is about two feet away from me. That's still going on. That is picking up sound directly from me and from everything else around me. A little closer. So, I'm not talking any louder than I normally do. I'm trying to be very normal here, not being too blah 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 crazy and loud. We just blah 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 anyway. So that's what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like. If you're trying to decide between the EIM001, which is right now on the table, or the EIM-003, which is connected to me here, this is what it's gonna be like. In my own personal opinion, I think it's always better if you can get the microphone closer to your person. So like this right now, I think is the best thing. So we do sell the ESL-004 cable. It is a splitter cable, which will allow you to connect two of these microphones and have them both connect into one line into your iPhone or your iPad or whatever. That way you can have an interview with another person and they both have the microphones up close. So let's turn on this one more time. Okay, so sort of a coffee shop, maybe not exactly, but you get the idea, I think. Let me know if you have any questions about choosing microphones, how they work in different situations. I'll go and try and test them out, give you as much help as I can so you, you make the right choice, all right? Thanks for watching, talk to you again soon, bye-bye. Now I want some real coffee.